Hey guys, I want to take your left hand playing from something like this to something more like this. So, if you were to take that and then you were to apply it to your right hand, you get something like this. David Hutchinson here to help you play creatively and today we're continuing our how do you improve your chord progression series with improvements for left hand voicings. Let's get right to the lesson. If you miss the first lesson in this series, I would suggest watching that because we are building upon what we have already learned. So here, let's look at a C major chord. What I'm doing in my left hand is I'm taking notes that are a part of the extension, which would be sevens, nines, elevens, all right? And I am applying that to my left hand. So in the previous lesson, we talked about major sevens. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the first degree of the chord and the seventh degree, and I'm playing those two notes in my left hand. Then I'm sometimes playing often the fifth degree of that scale, okay? So if we're in a C major chord, I'm playing the C, G, and B. Let's apply that to F. If I'm playing an F major chord, instead of playing F and F in my left hand, I'm gonna play an F, C, and E, all right? And that begins to give me a nice sound for my chords, all right? Playing those uh, major sevens or even dominant sevens in my left hand. So now how do we apply that to this particular progression? Well, this is what it would sound like. Now I'm adding a couple of more notes, but the principle is the same. I'm thinking major sevens and dominant seven left hand voicings in my hand. And then I'm adding some other notes from the scale. So like, let's say I'm playing this E uh, major seven voicing in my left hand. What I'm doing is I'm instead of going straight to that seven to add some depth to it, I'm starting with the one or the E, and then I'm coming down to the seven. And then you can do that on any chord. So. All right, I'm, t I'm playing the one, five, and one, and then coming down to the seven. Then you could also uh, play the second degree of the scale or the sixth degree of the scale and then come down to the seven. So what I mean by that is this. Let's look at C major. If I'm playing the seven, coming down to the seven, I'm highlighting that, right? So what I wanna do is I may start with the second degree, which would be D, and I would walk down to the seven, so. Or I may start on the six, which would be A, and I would walk up to the seven. So. All right. I'm doing that on a G major. This is what it would be on an E minor. And it requires some stretching. That's coming down from the nine. Or if I come down from this, the sixth degree would be like this. So there you have it, um, some left hand ideas for you that will help you improve your chord progressions. Thanks so much for watching. If you like content like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. Also, go to davenhutchinson.com for live classes, courses, and other resources that will take you in a step-by-step -step process in your piano playing journey. Well, until next time, remember, keep watching, keep learning, and we'll keep growing together. I'll see you next time.